guys. So, right here we have this beautiful French violin, 360 millimeters. Incredible uh, lie. Uh, that is like the little Greek harp on the back of this. And uh, with all the inlay pearl around the edges and stuff. I had a, in college I had a violin that was Firebranda inside Nicholas Maylene, and it looked a lot like this violin. So these inlaid violins, a lot of times, most of the time, that I've had them in the shop and stuff, whether they be German, maybe the French ones too, but they, the pearl falls out of the back and they just, uh, usually it's like a mosaic of mess, um, a lot of the times. But this violin has all of its pearl. I haven't seen any pearl missing. So I don't know if it was, if it's always been that way or if somebody has done a really tedious job of restoring it. But all the pearl is there. All, that's a lot of work. Um, it has a very thin coat of either French polished or a very thin, very, very, very thin um, varnish. And it's over top of the original, I can tell. So that's probably somebody did that to make sure that the pearl wouldn't fall out because a lot of times you see they're a mess. Um, the scroll's very French on it. Has elongated string length. It's a few millimeters higher than average. You know, a lot of fiddlers play at 330 millimeters. This one's probably like 334, 334.5. Just wherever you want to set the bridge. Uh, of course, it is a full-size violin. Has a great neck angle on it. <clears throat> I set it up with um, Glasser. Well, no. This is Fiddler shop tailpiece, like Whitner. I think that's what that is. Guarneri blocked out chin wrist. And these could be the original French pegs. A lot of times they were little skinny rosewood pegs on these violins. Um, these violins was made like mid to early late 1800s. So from 1850 to 1870, 1880, that time frame, these were uh, being made in mere court. And um, <clears throat> have it very reasonably priced. The only repair job as far as a crack that I see, can see here is a crack right here that's repaired. And it's stable and most of that is not shown because your chin rest hides all that and just a tiny wing crack that's repaired that uh, it's not very even noticeable it's done really really well um, <clears throat> it's joined together with two with a purfling and I've seen that on French violins um, anyway I'm gonna play it for you a little bit a little bit more and give you an idea on the tone it's a very powerful clear tone it has a uh, a lot of sweetness to it put on a sh uh, shoulder wrist i can't hardly play without a shoulder wrist very powerful d as you could hear very good d the pearl's very radiant on the back i'm sitting here looking at it in light and it's just flick kind of flickering through a little bit like stars or something you know glittery very huge d sound it's shaking the floor We played something lush. Let's play something bluegrass. So there you have it, boys. Great fiddle. God bless you.